Welcome to a video that's entitled Configuring Services. And in this video, I kind of want to show you the second half or the continuation, if you will, of what needs to be done when you add a role to a server. Now, what I've done here to save you the pain of having to watch me choose a bunch of things and then let the server just kind of click and hum is I've gone in and added the role for the DHCP server. And when you do that, when you go in and add a row, and I'll talk about that in other videos, what you're going to see is that you will end up with the Add Roles and Features wizard showing you that you're viewing the installation progress, and it's almost a bit confusing the way they've laid this thing out. But you will notice that it says, kind of in small print here, Configuration Required, Installation Succeeded. So this is telling me, okay, you have successfully added the DHCP role to this particular server. And then it's given me a little hint right here. And again, this is not very obvious, so you'll just have to watch for it. Notice you can launch the DHCP post install wizard. And here is a link. I can click this link to complete the DHCP configuration. Now this is where we configure the service. We added it as a role. And what we've added that is a role now becomes the DHCP service. So watch the terminology there. When we're adding this service to the server, we're adding it as a role. And once that role addition has been completed, now we're configuring a service. It's a little funky, I know, but just go through it kind of slow and you'll get it. Watch for this terminology on the exam. So if I click this link, it will take me to the DHCP configuration. But even if I don't want to do this right now, this is the next thing I want to show you. I can close this. Okay, so I successfully installed it. I also want to bring your attention to the little flag in the notification up here. Notice the little yellow notification, attention, that lets me know that something needs to be done. And if I just click on the flag, it's letting me know here that there's some post-deployment configuration that needs to happen. And it's letting me know that configuration is required for the DHCP server at, and there's my server name, and that's just the generated server name from the install that Microsoft generated for me. And here's that link again to complete the DHCP configuration. So I can click that, it'll open. Notice the DHCP post install configuration wizard. So when we talk about configuring services, that is exactly what we're talking about. Now I'll cancel this. Notice, until I complete this, I'm always going to see a notification of some kind up here. So anytime you see this, you have a service that needs to be configured, and simply by clicking on that, I can take care of it. You can also avoid this whole thing simply by going back to the end of the server role addition screen that tells me that I was successful in adding that role, and click that link there. But watch for these little clues up here and understand the terminology on the exam. We add a role. Once we successfully add that role, we're now configuring the service that's part of that role that gives us the functionality, in this case, DHCP.